One more World Series event and three months to go until the teams can launch their race boats for 2017. The road to the America's Cup has reached a critical phase. Winning the World Series overall hands a two-point advantage at the start of the AC qualifiers, the match racing series that kicks off next May. Little surprise then that the World Series event in Toulon was treated so seriously. Double Olympic medalist Nathan Outridge was back at the helm aboard Artemis Racing. After a difficult season, the Swedish team delivered an impressive performance, winning the Toulon regatta. Dean Barker's soft bank Team Japan also put on a consistent performance and finished second. Sir Ben Ainsley's Land Rover BAR sneaked onto the podium in third after a slow start to the weekend. And it was this result that could have the greatest significance as the British team extended their overall lead over Oracle Team USA to a 14-point margin. But while teams were trying to excel in Toulon, the boats that they are developing for next year's racing are radically different. Significantly more powerful and way more sophisticated, the Cup boats for 2017 have as much in common with the current AC45s as a Mini Cooper does with a Lamborghini. Excelling at both is like striving to be bilingual. And it's not just boat development that's important. Teams are having to learn new sailing techniques too. Among the most important is the foiling tack. Staying on the foils when changing direction while sailing into the wind was once seen as impossible. But today, the ability to perform a foiling tack is not just desirable, but essential. Whoever doesn't do a foiling tack is probably going to lose the race. The boat that can make it around the race course without touching the water will win this America's Cup. And the first team to declare that they had succeeded was SoftBank Team Japan. Skipper Dean Barker is no stranger to pioneering new techniques. As a skipper for Emirates Team New Zealand in the last cup, the Kiwis had been the first to fly their 72-foot cup boat, and Barker had been at the helm. During the, the last America's Cup, the holy grail was full driving, and um, you know, very early on we, we got our AC72 foiling. And we're on our way, ripping downwind, both boats up on the foils. What an amazing start to this first race. Um, yeah, we've been, we've kind of always thought, I always thought that when we started this America's Cup, people would be tacking on the foils by the time we, um, we get to racing. So it's something that we kind of always had an open mind on. And we're out there, you know, there's a nice breeze, you know, and we you know, put the boat into a tack and uh, there we were, sat up on the foils. I think the giveaway was when Chris sort of let out a, a bit of a, uh, a little giggle actually on the <laughs> as we exited the tag. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the first few times when it was nearly on, I was kind of almost swearing, like, oh, this is so on. <laughs> but then when we actually did one, I was just was giggling away. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was cool, it was a great feeling. thought, yep, there we go, that's the, uh, the first one ticked off. And yeah, then we pulled off another one the same day. And I think, you know, it was just satisfying to think that all the work that we've been, been doing in terms of trying to understand the key components and sort of all played, it paid off and, and you know, there we were, you know, pulling one off. If it's anything like moth sailing, you know, it starts to open up the race course a lot more, your options are a lot, lot wider, it's not about sailing boundaries to boundary, you can tack on the shifts a lot more on demand. It's a real game changer, so, you know, the race is on, I think most of the teams are aware of it, but the game is on really to see who can, um, you know, who can actually consistently pull it off. Two days later, and Oracle Team USA had achieved the same. We, we had some catastrophic fails in our attempts and some big crashes in attempting to do it, but we uh, eventually did it. What we were talking about a long time ago was for a boat to not touch the water throughout a whole race, and uh, it's becoming a reality now. Last America's Cup was all about the foiling jibe and who could perform the foiling jibe, staying on the foils all the way down the downwind run. This time it's about foil tacking. The gains in a foiling tack, it, it can be anywhere from 50 metres to 200 metres. So what might be seen as a party trick today will be a race winner next year.